internet. My favorite YouTuber, Christina Horner, made a video a few days ago where she talked about her best, worst, and craziest dreams, and she encouraged everyone to make a video response. So today, I'm going to talk about some of my dreams. First, I'm going to talk about my best dream. It was a few years ago. I was walking around some park, I think, and everyone kept coming up to me and calling me Harry. And I was very confused because, you know, I'm a guy, and every time I tried to find a mirror to look at myself, I couldn't. So apparently I was Harry Potter. And there was this big Hogwarts picnic going on in this huge park, and so in the entire dream I got to hang out with all the Harry Potter characters, talk to them like I was Harry Potter. I never got to see myself like what I looked like as Harry Potter, but since everyone called me Harry, I'm just going to assume that I really looked like him throughout the dream. It was really awesome and I got to experience being in the Harry Potter world and being friends with all these characters that I grew up with and loved for so long. My worst dream isn't really a scary dream, but it's my worst dream as in painful. The entire dream, I really, really, really needed to pee. <laughs> But I couldn't find anywhere to pee, so I would walk around the entire area in my town trying to find somewhere to pee, but no one would let me. I would like walk into a restroom and then all of a sudden it would disappear. And th so it was like hours and hours and hours of a dream where I really, 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 really needed to pee, but no one would let me. Like I would literally walk everywhere in the entire town and no one would let me pee. It was crazy and painful, obviously, because when you need to pee, it hurts. It was not a fun dream at all, and I don't have, obviously, don't have any good memories of that dream, because who wants to have a dream hours long about needing to pee? Not fun. And my craziest dream was several, several, several years ago, but it's the one dream that I have a complete memory of, and I probably will never forget it, because it is crazy. Well, in this dream, my parents, who didn't look anything like my real parents, they were my dream parents, I guess, they got a divorce. And so I moved in to this huge mansion with my mom and my grandma. I don't know why we had a huge mansion, because no one in my family has money, but apparently my dream parents do. So, yeah. I was living in this huge mansion when my mom told me to take out the trash. So I go and take out the trash, and all of a sudden, someone grabs me and puts me in their car and kidnaps me. A few hours later, I wake up, I'm, and I'm in another mansion, but this time it's owned by my father instead of my mother. I don't know where all this money is coming from, but apparently my dream parents have a lot of money. And I was very confused because I was tied up, and my mouth was covered up and everything, and I was very confused because I was at my father's house, and why would he kidnap me? Even my dream father, you know, obviously he was a good father, so why would he kidnap me? I finally got, I found, found a way to get untied and I walked around and I saw rooms full of barbecues, which was very strange. And I found out that my father barbecued people for a living. He barbecued people and fed them to a giant monster who would pay him a hundred dollars per body that he fed him. Which, you know, obviously explains why my father is rich. And I don't understand if he kept this from me for years in my dream world or something he just now took up after the divorce sucked up all his money. I don't know, because if he really had done this for years, you think I would have noticed by now. But apparently I didn't until now. And so I was trying to run away when he grabbed me and put me on a grill. And I somehow found a way to escape. And so I found a payphone and I was about and I was about to call my mom to tell her that my dad was about to barbecue me when I woke up. And even though, you know, it's not the weirdest dream anyone's ever heard, it was still pretty weird to me because my dad was literally cooking people on a barbecue, which is not something you know normally you dream about. I don't have a barbecue, I don't know very many people that have barbecues, weirdly enough, so I don't know why I was dreaming about one. But, that's how it is, and I had that dream at least ten years ago, and I still remember it, because it was creepy, freaking weird. So, I hope you enjoyed my stories about my best, worst, and my craziest dream. And I hope, maybe, Christina watches this video response. Probably not, but who knows. Well, that's all. Goodbye, Internet!